violence ramping up in Chicago with nearly 350 murders so far this year. Police are working overtime, literally, to crack down on the deadly street gangs, turning the Windy City into a war zone. So what do we know about these gangs and what else needs to be done? Joining us now is Chicago Alderman Anthony Napolitano, the only Republican in the city's 50-seat city council and a former police officer. Thank you for your time and for joining us this morning. Um, look, I guess at this point you worry about police burnout. You wonder how long they're going to be able to go on like this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, you know what? Your number's a little bit off. We're closer to 375 homicides in the city of Chicago to date right now. And the, actually, the scarier number would be that right now we have 1,990 people shot in the city of Chicago. That's the scarier number you should be focusing on because take that number and consider how many people have been shot at but haven't been hit. So those numbers could be quadrupled. Mm. And that's a fact that people just don't know that. They don't know that yeah. this is going on right now. Uh, it, it's it's scary. It's scaring half the city to death right now. Yeah, I'm sure, and and, and it, it really is. And, and most of this is, I think, centered on the south side of the city. You're you're the lone Republican uh, in Chicago. It sounds like you're in a very very blue place. What is what is the issue with the leadership in that city? What is it that's that that they're not doing right? I'm sure you have a lot of criticisms. Yeah. You know, I, I, I tout myself as being a very conservative person. I, I have some uh, uh, union strong, strength in me as well. But I, the biggest problem that happens in the city of Chicago right now is you have, uh, you have a state's attorney's office that is celebrating a catch and release system. Uh, they're touting their numbers of how many people they're letting out of the system every day. Uh, these are career criminals. Um, our next biggest issue that we're fighting with is you have city officials that are putting time and energy into looking for more oversight on our Chicago police officers. We currently have approximately nine different oversight committees that overlook everything the police officers do. They're looking to add even more. The thing we're not doing is we're not putting oversight and accountability on communities. Nobody's doing it. They're walking away for it and everyone knows, and, you know, to be honest, that's done for pandering purposes. But in, unless we start holding communities accountable for what's going on, for the 1,990 people shot, 375 homicides, you can't go after the police like they're not doing their jobs when these, these officers in Chicago are dying to be the best that they can. They're dying to put an end to the crime in Chicago right now. So then what needs to be done? How do you put an end to that crime in Chicago? I mean, it seems like we have this conversation almost weekly now. Yeah. You know, uh, what I, I, the, the biggest thing is, is, is officers right now are so afraid to be the police. Criminal element in Chicago knows what's going on with these police officers. They know what's called the CPD lottery. They know that all these officers are so fearful of doing their job of some sort of uh, not being protected by the city of Chicago coming out of, of any lawsuits of any uh, what is uh, considered an illegal stop. So officers are, are, are what I've touted from day one, they become a re reactive police department. They don't want to be reactive. They want to be proactive. But if you don't feel that you have the backing of your city, uh, and I'm not just talking downtown, I'm talking the entire city of Chicago, you can't do your job. Criminals know that. Criminals know that. When I was a street officer, you had probably nine out of every ten, nine out of every ten guns was what, what we called laid up. It was hidden. It was somewhere on the street. Now nine out of every ten guns are in a car driving around because the criminal element knows that police officers are too afraid to put a stop on anybody because they're going to end up in the next lawsuit. You make a great point. There's so much scrutiny on the police for everything mm -hmm. that they do, but where is the scrutiny and the accountability on, on communities that are just rampant with crime and gang violence? Sir, thank you so much for your time this morning. We do appreciate it.